Hi, I watched Tale of the Nine Tale 1938 and here's my review. Due to a turn of events, Leon gets pulled back in 1938 where he gets to meet his brother Rang and his old friends. Alright, so before diving into this season, I just want to come back very quickly on the first season. I thought about doing a review for the first season altogether, but ultimately I'm not that interested in watching it again. So I decided against it and just give a few words here before the actual review of season two. So for season one, Compared to a lot of people, I actually enjoyed it a lot. I gave it 9 out of 10. So I really enjoyed it and I actually think I would have given it 10 out of 10 back in the day if it was not for the ending that I absolutely hated. And I know for this I'm not the only one. So yeah, it's a drama I really enjoyed but hated the ending with a passion and was left very traumatized by this ending that I really hated. Because of that I was not sure I was going to watch the second season even though I knew it took place in the past and we were going to be able to see Rang again. But after seeing the trailers and a few MVs for OSTs I decided that I was going to give it a chance and I'm glad I did it because I enjoyed this drama a lot. I can't compare though if I prefer this season over the first one because like I said I didn't review the first drama so my memories are very faded about this one so I really can't tell but I know I enjoyed this one a lot. First off, what I want to praise is the production. The production is really good and I actually watched Rewatched one episode of the original Tale of the Nine Tailed, and you can see the evolution, the progression of the production of the camera quality and everything. So, first, I want to praise that as well as the special effects. Not all the special effects are good, but most of them are okay. You can, it doesn't take you too too much out of the story because of how bad it is. Usually I realized that the smoke was not done that well but for the rest I want to give it a praise. Also something that I really adored and usually often skipped but it was not the case for this drama is the opening. Usually I skip openings at least I watched the first the first time but usually then I skipped everything I don't care but this opening is so good the music is so good and the visuals are so beautiful that I just couldn't help but watch the opening every time so yeah nice little praise for that as well First, I'm going to start by the end. I'm gonna start by mentioning the last episode. So the last episode, usually in a drama, is really important. It needs to be very good. And I feel like a lot of dramas fail to produce a very good last episode. In this case, I think it's not the case at all. I think this last episode is very powerful, very much packed with action. A lot of things are happening but it makes sense and it doesn't feel like it's going too quickly either. Everything makes sense. So I think we have a very 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 strong ending for this drama and I really want to praise this drama for this because I think not a lot of dramas are able to pull that off correctly. If I'm completely honest, like 100% honest, I'm not completely satisfied in the sense that Rang doesn't get to come back uh, to life in the present, if I can say. So I'm a bit sad about that, but we have so much content about Rang in this season. We have so much going on between the two brothers that... I feel satisfied enough with what we've had and also since they set up I think for a third season with this last episode with the original mountain god mountain god I think there's still a possibility that Rang could, could come back one way or another. 
Now, the relationship between Rang and Lyon, I really loved it. At first, I thought it was maybe a bit quick, uh, because they take one episode to get along again. So maybe at first I thought it was a tiny bit quick, but then we, we see that Rang is actually not completely trusting of Lyon and that he has his reserves still and that he doesn't understand why he's doing that. So it makes sense. In the end, it all makes sense. And I like the progression of their relationship, the stages they go through. I really enjoyed it a lot and I was so glad to finally see the brothers being nice brothers to one another for such a long time and the fact that uh, the Leon of the past at the end gets to treat his brother well as well. I really enjoyed that. It was, it was really heartwarming to see and so I ended up satisfied even though I'm a tiny bit sad that Rang doesn't get to come back to life. Second thing that I very much enjoyed in this drama is the relationship between the three mountain gods. So they were, or still are, best friends. And so I really like how their friendship is portrayed in this drama. It's not all black and it's not all white on ever on every side, on every character. I like that they bicker a lot, that they fight a lot, but at the end of the day, they still care so deeply for one another and I'm very glad that at the end of the day, at the end of the drama, it's their friendship that won against everything else. I'm very glad that they end up happy. The only thing that I don't really like, if I can say, is that we don't know where they both are, Muyong and her, Ryuju. Ryuju? I'm forgetting her name. But both of them, where are they in the present? Because otherwise, if they are not in the present, that must mean that they died at some point. And so this makes it very sad. So maybe in the third season, we could know this. But for this season, I feel like this was a bit lacking that we didn't know where they both are in the present. What they are up to and, and why maybe Leon isn't back to being friends with them in the present or things like that. Likewise, I feel like Leon changed a lot of things in the past that would impact the present as well and makes, make a lot of changes in the present. But I decided to take this out of my brain and push it aside and not think about it just because I wanted to enjoy the drama without asking myself too many questions. But if I want to be picky a bit, it's true that all the changes Leon does to the past should have big impacts in the present, in my opinion. And yeah, I can't completely shake off this weird feeling that something is off with all this changing of the past. Finally, the last thing I want to mention with this drama is the romance between Rang and the mermaid girl. I didn't like it. <laughs> First, I was happy when I knew that Jia was not going to be in this drama because I thought there was not going to be any romance. So I went in this drama expecting no romance. And so usually when I expect no romance, I usually like it when there is no romance. So a bit bummed about that. but. Especially because I think it's not well done at all. It's way too fast, it's way too quick, it's way too powerful, way too quickly. They love each other for no reason. They love each other so much out of nowhere, out of the blue. So I really didn't like that at all. I think for me, I just wanted to concentrate on the relationship between the two brothers. I understand what they wanted to do for Rang. They wanted him to know love before he dies. They wanted him to not be alone once Leon was going to leave. So I understand what they intended to do, but I think they do it very badly in this case. It's not done well at all. Talking about that, this reminds me that hopefully in season three, we will get an answer for this as well as to why... Rang was able to kind of awaken, if I can say, as a full fox with both eyes turning fox-like. 
because usually he can only have one eye. So I hope they get to answer things like that in the third season because I'm sure I will watch it after this season that I found very great. If they bring as much mythology and you know creatures and things like that, if, if they bring that much again in the third season I'm all for it because I really enjoy that a lot. Alright, and now I think I said everything I wanted to say about the tale of 910-9038. Don't hesitate to tell me your own thoughts about this drama, what you thought, did you like it, did you not like it, did you prefer it to season 1, did you prefer season 1? I think that's more unlikely, but you never know, you could prefer season 1. So don't hesitate to tell me. Overall, this is a very great drama, a bit disappointed by the, t the bit of romance we get that I didn't like at all. But apart from that, I really enjoyed everything. Everything was done very much on point and I think it's a great drama and deserves a watch. With this, I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!